Hey guys, Majilo here, and welcome to the eighth video in our let's uh, program in Java, our 2D Java game engine series. I hope I said that last video. I didn't check. Am I not? Anyways, uh, actually, I'm going to do some real quick from last video. We finished doing our draw image. I'm going to move this up top, and instead of saying new height, I'm going to get the width and height. And the reason for that being is it'll jump out of the method before it actually declares these variables because declaring variables that takes some uh, processing power so if we just hop out before we do that that's better right because this new x new y new width new height is only for the clipping code so we don't really need to have that so there we go we got our draw image now what i'm going to do today is we're going to do a draw image tile so the draw image tile Typically, when you have like a 2D game, you want your graphics to be tileized. So you'll have. Why does it say there's? Boom! I don't know where that audio was coming from. It said there was audio coming in. Anyways. Anyways, so you have your tile images and tiles in some. So you want to render like um, Minecraft blocks. You know, like if you look at the Minecraft texture pack, how they're all like in in their own little sections, and then. You can pick a tile and render it. That's what we want to do. Now we can do that if we have them as individual images, but if we have them as a single image, I want an easy way of picking a tile from the image to render. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new class. I'm going to call it image tile. And image tile, we are going to do a public image tile. Now what we're going to actually do is we're going to extend our image. Right, which means this has to inherit, this has to call super. Right, and our super takes a string called path, and I'm going to take it in a string of path here. Okay, now the one thing that image tile is going to do is this is going to hold our tile width and our tile height. We need to know how big our tile is. Right, is it 16 by 16? Is it 8 by 8? 8 by 16? You know, that kind of stuff. And we're just going to store it. Private uh, int tile width and tile height, and we'll set them this dot tile width equals tile width, this dot tile height equals tile height. Boom. And we're going to generate getters and setters for those two variables. Perfect. Now let's add it into our renderer. We're going to actually draw our image. So we're going to make a public void draw tile, uh, image tile. That's what I'm going to call it. And instead of taking in an image, we're going to take in an image tile. Image. I'm going to take in an int off x, int off y. And I'm going to take an int tile x and an int tile y. So, boom. Now we need to draw code. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy this code right here because we want the same kind of code. Boom. But we're going to actually change some things. So we have our offset X and we have our image width, image height. Now we're going to actually not be using this width. We're going to be using our tile because we don't care about the whole image. We want just the tile size. And we're going to do that for all of it. Tile. Tile. Okay, and that should be fine. The rest of the clipping code should work. The one place we don't want to change it the tile is the actual get p here. We want to leave that as image .get w. That's important. Okay, and now we actually have to take into consideration our tile x and tile y. So, and the only place that's important is here where we're getting our image. So we're going to shift where our, we're actually looking for our image inside of our uh, tiles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put parentheses around my X and Y. And inside those parentheses for X, I'm going to say add tile X times image dot get tile width. And I'm going to copy that and put it in the Y as well, but change it to tile Y and tile height. Boom. Now that should, in theory, be working. We might be have a bug, 
but we'll fix it when we get there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, get rid of this. And in GIMP, you can go to Configure Grid. And I'm going to make a 16 by 16 grid. And I want to view... Oops. I'm going to view my grid, show grid. So now I have a grid and I'm going to draw an animation real quick to show you what this is useful for. Let's make it red. I'm going to make a dot and then I'm going to copy and paste this dot to all my frames so I get a good reference point. I'm going to go boom. This is going to be like a little explosion kind of thing and then uh, draw that out yep. all right just like that um, I'm just winging it as I go here I don't know what it'll look cool and then I'm actually gonna copy this last one here put it over here and then we're going to say boom Boom and boom. I think that'll look neatly animated. <laughs> this is going to be a pretty small image, but that's fine. Boop, doop, doom. And lastly, doom. And I'm actually going to get rid of the center here. Here. And make these. I think that looks swell enough for an animation. Actually, it'd probably be better if I get rid of these. And then I'm going to fill in the background with our transparent color, which, if you remember, it's all red, all blue, no green. Boom. Hurts to look at, and that's why we chose that color. And I'm going to overwrite my test image with this. So if I go back here, and I'm actually going to refresh my project. So my test image has changed and I run it. We get our image, right? That I just drew. And it looks cool, right? But this isn't what we want. What I want instead is I want an image tile. So if we go to game uh, manager, I change this to image tile. And I got to import that. And instead of drawing and, and here when we load it, we got to tell it that we're using a 16 by 16 grid. And we got to change this to new tile. And instead of drawing an image, we're drawing an image tile. Right? And then we have to tell it what frame I want to draw. And right now I'm just going to draw 0, 0. Now, actually, I don't want this to draw minus 32 because that's not the center of our tile. Our tiles are 16 by 16, so I'm going to subtract 8. Just uh, so my cursor is in the center. It might be a bad because it's small. Yeah, I have a little dot behind my cursor now. So we drew only one tile this time. I'm going to subtract the Y16. So it goes above my image, my uh, cursor. And there we go. We got one tile, right? We chose the tile 0, 0, which is this tile right here. This is 0x, zero 1x, zero, uh, 2x, 3x, 1y, 1x, 1y, you know. That dealio. Now I want to animate it, so I'm going to make a little animation here. So I'm just going to make a little float, call it temp equals zero. Say temp plus equals dt. And then I'm going to say um, our x is equal, actually, so if temp is greater than three, temp equals zero. So I want it to loop from 0 to 3. And I'm going to say temp here, but I'm going to cast it to an int. Because we can't put a float. So now, if we run it, boop, boop, boom. Hey, look at that. We have a little animation running. It's a little slow. Let's speed it up. So I'm going to say times 20. We run it. Hey. Boom, we got a little animation going now. So that's that's the beauty of an image tile. Now imagine this is like a player. So this is facing right, facing left, facing up, facing down. And you just change the uh, tile X and tile Y appropriately to what you want it to do. That's simple. So I hope that was interesting.
Hope you guys learned something. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and thanks for watching.